So, you're looking for a web browser for your Android phone and you're not sure which browser, browser will work the best. This was the question I had from my son who really, really enjoys reading manga comics online on various websites where they are published by the artists. I spent a couple hours, actually, more time than I intended to, going through various different apps to see which of these apps would display the manga the best and block the ads that sometimes are on such pages. So which of the browsers worked out first? Well, first of all, both Samsung Internet and Chrome do not resist ads by default. There are ways to add ad blockers, but I was looking for a single app that could block the ads. Kiwi Browser allowed the ads, so that one was knocked out right away. Firefox Focus forgot the pages, I believe, immediately after I closed the app. Via crashed every time I tried to use it, or actually it forgot the URL after I closed the app and then reopened the app. DuckDuckGo had an issue as well. I think it was when I shut down the phone and restarted the phone. It would not <clears throat> display the page. It didn't have seem to have any cache memory or anything, which was unfortunate because, of course, sometimes when you're reading a story online on a web page, you don't have instant internet access. By trying various different sites, I found that Opera Mini Firefox and UC browser, although they were all initially very good and promising, did not block ads particularly well. Um, in fact, UC browser and Firefox both allowed ads and pop-ups in some cases. Opera Mini, on the other hand, simply had issues with not being able to return to a web page in some cases after a restart. So that left five browsers, and these came from various other websites that recommended them. The first browser, and I'm going to show you various things about these, is Opera, then we have Brave, Free Ad Blocker, Ad Block Browser, and Vivaldi Browser. So here's the page I was looking at. You can see it a few things I were look, was looking for is how it displayed, how it scrolled, if it could hold its position on the page if I close the app and reopen the app. And so we'll try that. Brave is similar in the way it looks. I was looking to see, you know, what's the behavior of the URL bar at the top, the address bar, what's the behavior of the navigation bar at the bottom. I like how both bars disappear in Brave. You get to see a nice full screen as much as the manga page as possible. You can even see the entire frame there going back to Opera. Can't quite see as much because of the navigation bar at the bottom. Free ad blocker browser. You can get that top address bar to disappear. So then it looks pretty good. Adblock browser, these are two different ones, and there are several ones that say like Adblock. So you have to make sure that you're looking for the one that's got the correct icon and it's made by the correct company. And then Vivaldi browser. Now a little bit of information about all five of these browsers. First of all, going to Opera. Opera's been around for a very long time. On the Amazon Play Store, not the Amazon, Android Play Store, it has 3 million reviews, at least 100 million downloads, 4.3 rating, and on your computer it uses about, a, on your phone, it uses about 175 megabytes. Brave has about 985,000 reviews with over 100 million downloads, a 4.7 rating, it takes up a bit more storage, 323 megabytes. Free ad block browser or FAB browser, FAB ad block browser, has a 701,000 reviews, 
more than 10 million, but less than 100 million downloads, 4.5 rating, 243 megabytes. Adblock browser, which again is slightly different and it might be very different under the hood, 168,000 reviews between 10 and 100 million downloads, 4.3 rating, 300, 231 megabytes. And Vivaldi browser had between 1 and 10 million views, 34,000 reviews, 1 in 10 million downloads, 4.5 rating, and it takes 314 megabytes. Let's try closing all apps and see how these do as far as bringing us back to the exact same spot on the page. I think this is kind of an interesting thing to look at. So we'll start with Opera. And Opera got us pretty close. Oh, there it is. It repositioned. So it got us right to the same spot we were. Brave. Brave starts in a preview or cache mode. Viewing live page. So there's that. That one worked pretty good. It looks like free ad blocker worked. It looks like ad blocker browser worked. And we'll see if Vivaldi can do it as well. Come on, Vivaldi. I might have to tap on preview or just tap on the URL and go. And it got us there. It took us just a little bit of time. Now, other things I noticed, a couple of these don't have bottom navigation bars at all. So the two ad block browsers do not have bottom navigation bars, which I think is kind of nice. Although the others do have vanishing navigation bars. It's just that, you know, you've got to scroll around a little bit to get to vanish. Opera, after I restarted it and it returned in airplane mode, it seemed to be the only one that was able to go to the same spot on the page from the cached page in the memory. So I thought that was interesting. So that gave Opera a little boost, in my opinion. And the other thing I noticed was that Opera, if you look on the right-hand side here, Opera has a scroll bar. And so for reading on a website, and it shows which way you're going with the little arrows, which is kind of cool. If you're reading, then you can see the little navigation bar, and I'll show you what Brave does. So Brave just has a little scrolling indicator. It's very small though, it's hard to see. Free Adblock Browser doesn't seem to have any scrolling indicator at all. Adblock Browser doesn't seem to have anything at all. And neither does Vivaldi. So let's close these all again. Let's see it. What I wanted to show actually was going to the bottom of the page and scrolling up a little bit. Okay, and see if the browser, after we close the page, after we close the app, if it can return to that spot in the page, especially if we put it into airplane mode. So we'll test all five of these browsers and see what happens. Now I haven't checked closely on all of these for the ability to have a internal VPN. I know that Opera does have an internal VPN. I never tend to use that just because it really, really slows web page loading down. But I know some people like to use VPN if they are using various websites, I suppose. Um, okay, so we're going to close all these going to go into airplane mode and then we're going to open them back up and see if it can show us the same spot. So we'll start with Opera. Looks like it passed the test. Brave. In preview mode. It went to the bottom of the page. It did not go exactly back where we wanted it. Adblock browser did not. It went to the top of the page. Adblock browser 
went to the bottom of the page. The Vivaldi browser also went to the bottom of the page. Okay. I would say that the one I would most likely recommend for two reasons is Opera. Not Opera Mini, but Opera. Not to say that Brave, Free Adblock Browser, Adblock Browser, or Vivaldi Browser are poor. I would say they're good choices as well. Um, and if you don't want a VPN available, then perhaps one or all of those are free of VPN capability. But I would say Opera is probably the winner in my book at the moment because, number one, it did pretty well on returning to the same spot on the page after a close and opening in airplane mode. And it also has the scroll bar. And that scroll bar handle seems like a nice little way to get from the top to the bottom without having to just scroll, 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 scroll. Thanks for viewing. If you appreciated this content, please do a thumbs up. And good luck finding the best app for you.